Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning about what the game considers your base. Basically, there's certain items that are special, okay? These items are the artisan table, the bed, black forge, blast furnace, bonfire, campfire, kiln, bed, refinery, oh, dragon bed, sorry. Then the fermenter, forge, galder table for magic, the hanging brazier, hearth, portal, sconce, smelter, spinning wheel, all forms of light except the wisp light, stone cutter, stone oven, ward, and windmill. These items are all special because when you have three of them, or three of the same one, the game will consider that a base, and it's going to allow events to spawn there. Also, any one of these items will stop enemies from spawning for th it's the workbench radius. You see that white circle? That's how far each of these objects blocks enemies from spawning. So an enemy can run into the white circle after it spawns, but it cannot spawn inside the white circle around any of these objects. Thanks for watching this video, it was a short one. Check out one of my tutorials about setting up a dedicated server. It's a great way to get more out of your Valheim playthroughs because you have a lot of flexibility on different ways to play. And if you find that you've been playing Valheim regularly and you've just gotten bored of it, uh, you can set up a dedicated server or do something to play with other people who are kind of in your same headspace. You sort of need to be playing with people who have similar experience levels to you so that you have the most fun because it, it's just going to be kind of abrasive for other people when you know so much about the game and you know everything about it and you're trying to play with them but they're just brand new to it and you know they want you to f off <laughs> so thanks for watching comment below and i'll see you next time bye